Good morning, everyone, and welcome to City Church Clan. I am so happy to see all of you here in person and online. My name is Bella, and I'm your host for today. We are going to start our celebration in just a few moments with our worship team. If you are here online, please join us in our praise and worship. Make this time a special moment for you and your loved ones, and be sure to engage with us. We want to see you singing out loud with us in the comments. Yes, good moments should be shared. Please like this live video and be a blessing to your family and friends by sharing this wonderful worship experience on your Facebook page. Before we begin, please join me in this short prayer. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and thank you for everything you have given us. And please bless the people that are online and here at church. And please guide us and lead us to the right way you taught us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Are you guys ready? Let's pass this time to our worship team to lead us in a powerful time of worship.
church. Say something to him. Praise him, O Lord. Praise him. Keep on praising him, O Lord. Use your own language and speak something to talk to him, O Lord. Build us, O Lord. We want to hold on to you, God. Holy Spirit, we thank you for your presence. Hallelujah. Chief cornerstone, no other foundation can we build upon. Nothing lasts of me, nor the wisdom of man, all on the ground is seen. Upon this rock, you build your church, and the gates of hell will not prevail. When we bite and lose, we proclaim. sing build your church build your church build your church build it from the ground up it's your church build your church build your church build it from the ground up build your church build your church build your church build it from the ground up it's your church build Church, build your church, build it from the ground up. Build your church, build your church, build your church, build it from the ground up. It's your church, build your church, build your church, build it from the ground up. Build your church, build your church, build your church, build it from the ground.
on you rock you are rock there's nothing will prevail Lord nothing against us will prevail Lord thank you Lord because we know that we have you O oh Lord build us oh Lord build us deeper oh Lord use us oh Lord to go out there and build more your people oh Lord build more of your church oh Lord thank you Lord hallelujah church please be seated morning church how's everyone doing today great good yeah i'm feeling it as well such an atmosphere and such a full pack of uh, full pack house so it's nice to see everyone here okay am i loud okay good so it's time for offering and uh normally i will share a verse or two but with just the atmosphere around it's it's just so crazy right i feel like the holy spirit is saying you know you don't have to stick to what you always know, right? You can always do something new. So, I just want to share uh, just a quick testimony, I guess. I never shared anyone with this before other than my parents. So, and also Pastor Noel, he knows about this. Uh, but, updated not. So, um, while this is offering, recently in my company, you know, there's been a restructure and um, this past two years is a bit difficult. Because uh, I didn't feel like I was getting recognized and all those things, you know, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but I kept it and told, held it in, you know. I, I would say I kept my faith, right. I did not pray often, <laughs> I would say for it. However, I do keep my faith and I still pray about it, uh, when, it when I do want to talk about it, you know, speak about it. And just recently, with the restructuring, um, I got a promotion. So, it's not a... <laughs> thank you. So, it's not just a promotion in... Uh, or yeah, It's not just a promotion, but they gave me an uh, exponential uh, raise as well. Yeah. So, I'm very thankful for that and I praise God for that. So, it's amazing. Why does this relate to what I want to share with you? It's because um, not every time when we are faithful... God blesses us only then. When we are not, well, sorry, when we are not, it's not when we are faithful that God doesn't bless us then. It's only, also when we are not faithful, God will remind you, I'm still blessing you. It comes and continues and goes, right? It's yesterday, today, and forever, right? So, for today's offering, I got a promotion and all that. It's like, wow, time to celebrate. Wait, there's one thing I need to do first. I need to give back to God. Right. So, we sing that song, Build Your Church. It just spoke to me so much because it's not about me, you know? It's about the church. So, I don't know why I'm getting emotional about this. <laughs> but, you are the church. And when you get a promotion and you get what you are desiring and God answers, it's not that we go out to celebrate and show off to our friends. It's we praise God I'm just so thankful for God, that's why, all right? So, with this, I encourage everyone here, you know, while uh, we pray for the offering, think about your promotion, think about what you desire, your blessings in mind, you know, your wealth, finances, your relationships with people. These are your blessings that you can claim, not to ask for. You are here to receive them, right? So, let's just bow our heads, and when we think of those things, we want to give back to you a lot. We want to give back to your church. We want to build your church. And this is my church, right? So in Jesus' name, I thank you a lot. That who, everyone right here, Lord, where we put our money in, we want to give back to the church, Lord. We want to give our tithes to you, Lord. We want to give back our blessings to you a lot. Whatever that comes into our, our lives, Lord, it is an overflowing, mirac miraculously overflowing blessings from you a lot. So... Thank you a lot that we can give. We are generous to give. We are a generous church. It's not just about us. We build our church here. We take territories. We build other churches as well. We are the cornerstone. And you are the cornerstone to us as well, Lord. Thank you a lot. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Offerings, uh, you may collect.
there's a lot happening at our church, so let me take you through a few announcements. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Be sure to click on that like button and share this live stream to your Facebook feed. I'm sure your friends and family will be truly blessed. Come on, take out your phones and click on the like button right now. Make sure to stay connected with us throughout the week online at C3 Church Clang on Facebook and Instagram. We believe God has something unique to say to you and our hope is that you feel his love stronger today than ever before. Thanks again for being here with us. Back to you, worship team.
young people as well. We see here many young people, especially the young people. Very young, we are young at heart. So good to be in the house of God. Today is Vision Sunday, and we are going to present the vision to you later at the end of the message. But sure, God has something amazing for us this 2023. Amen. We have the vision for refresh, and God's going to breathe fresh air upon us. Uh, this is this one. 啊、uh, ，这个的异乡主热，相信神今天，等下我会带领你们来到，来到进入一些的啊、uh, 一些的节目。今年呢是焕然一新的一年，神要带领我们进入这个焕然一新的一年。Yes, new fresh beginning and fresh things that God's going to bring into our lives. We need to celebrate. Last night was such a big celebration, <laughs> ah,、uh, for Marianne's birthday. And I tell you, Ravi. You were the husband of the year, lah. You know, I don't think anyone can compete with you, lah. Okay, Pastor Joe also say surrender. Ah, yesterday we were in Ravi's house to celebrate Marianne's birthday. Can you say Ravi is the husband of the year this year? I love this. I love the celebration. I think we need to celebrate every birthday, every anniversary. Just call the party. We'll be there. You say I enjoy this birthday, this anniversary, or this birthday, 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 Amen. 今年呢，我们要把一切所有在往年的这一些我们累积下来这些的惧怕、这些的压制呢，我们要把它丢丢掉，要有新的这个宛然于新的一年。The world is telling you there are more worse disease coming. <laughs> they are preparing you. Ah,、uh? I don't know whether they are engineering it or whatever, but they are like telling you the worst is yet to come. 是，师傅，看来这个世界给过我们的这一个的，呃，这个的，呃，这些的消息都是不好的，是有更坏的这些的病菌会来到。We are not afraid because whether we live or die, we live and die for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 对我们来说，无论我们生和死，我们都是为主而活，为主而死。Jesus has conquered death. Hallelujah. There's no fear of death in us. 就说耶稣已经胜过死亡，在我们里面不应该有惧怕。But God wants you to live, okay? God doesn't want you to die because your mission and your assignment is not completed yet. So, God wants us to continue to have this life because your destiny is not complete on this earth. We're going to the, into the message. My title is "Go Deeper." Today, my message's theme is "Deeper." How many of you are tired? Every way you try to solve your problem, how many of you are tired? Every way you try to solve your problem, it's not going anywhere. And there's no results, and you're getting feeling tired. You're feeling weary. You're feeling frustrated. 就是有多少人你在这里，你尝试想解决你自己的问题，不过你一直解决不到，感觉到非常的疲累。Maybe it's our kids, your kids, that won't yield to your discipline and correction. 就是可能你的孩子需要你来到去纪律他们。Maybe it's your marriage is still conflicted, no matter how hard you worked on it. All these difficult conversations that you are having with different people have gone bad, goes bad. No matter how you try to talk to people, you know that relationship worsens. 就是说，可能你对很多人这一些的感情呢，就是说，你越谈下去，你越发，越发现到这个更糟糕。And the ministry that you are working on doesn't seem to be producing results. In this new season, I believe God is saying to us that we are going to partner with Him to see the miraculous and the supernatural. In this new season, I believe God is saying to us that we are going to partner with Him to see the miraculous and the supernatural. In this new season, I believe God is saying to us that we are going to partner with Him to see the miraculous and the supernatural. In this new season, I believe God is saying to us that And there was a supernatural catch of fish. In the Bible, 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 in the Bible
In Luke chapter 5, verse 1 to 6, I'm going to read. One day, as Jesus was preaching on the shore of the Sea of Galilee, great crowds pressed in on him to listen to the word of God. He noticed two empty boats at the water edge, for the fishermen had left them and were washing their nets. Stepping into one of the boats, Jesus asked Simon, its owner, to push it out into the water. So he sat in the boat and taught the crowds from there. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Now, go out where it is deeper and let down your nets to catch some fish. Master, Simon replied, we worked hard all last night and didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, I'll let the nets down again. And this time, their nets were so full of fish, they began to tear. 众人涌及他要听神的道that's right. This story when the disciples who were professional fishermen, they were trying to catch fish and they caught nothing. As they were cleaning their nets, Jesus gave them a word and told them that their boats need to go into the water again. Jesus had to use the boat in order to teach the crowd. And after Jesus has used the boat, he asked them to take the boat deeper, to go deeper and let down the nets to catch some fish. And Jesus gave the word and he says what? I want you to go back where you came from. Go back into the waters. And except this time, it's going to be different. I want you to do something different. What are you going to do? I want you to go deeper. Maybe you are a professional at your job. You have the degree to back it up. Maybe you have the experience in your ministry for years and you know how things work. But you notice something. You notice that no matter how hard you try, nothing seems to change. There's no catch. There's no catch of fish. There's no army. There's no people coming for prayer meetings. There's no supernatural happening. There's no deliverance. There's no soul saved. There's no people discipled. Why? No stories of victories. I believe God has a word for us if you are in that situation, if we are in that. In this season, this year, I believe God is speaking to all of us. God has specific instructions for us as a church. And individually, personally, into our lives. Very simple. The first key to supernatural momentum is to go deeper. Hashtag that. Go deeper. I'm not just talking about the church, the leadership. I'm talking about you personally going deeper with God. Hashtag develop depth. As we develop depth, the strategies that are correct that we have put in place are going to start to work. 
对的策略放进去，你就可以看到开始那个可以开始看到果效。Do you know the secret of the momentum in ministry is really spiritual? It's really supernatural. 我让你知道，就是在属灵里面这个的节奏的这个的服饰呢，它是是超自然的。Why? Because we are not a social club. We are not a sports club. We are not a women's club or men's club. 我们并不是那一些所谓的妇女或者是男人俱乐部，是那些运动的俱乐部。We are dealing with the supernatural. We're dealing with spiritual things. 就我们是。和这些属灵的事情是有关的。And we're trying to rescue people from darkness into light. We have an army of hell that is at our tail. That's trying to stop us. That's trying to destroy us. 就是我们有的就是我们要尝试要把人从黑暗当中拯救到这个的光明当中。We're not just here to run a YouTube or a、uh, Facebook channel. 就是在这里，我们并不是要来到来到开这个的呃社交平台这种的事情。Do you understand what I'm talking about? 你明白我所讲的东西吗 ？I thought we sang just now, which is Jesus' words to us, and say, "I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against us." 就好像刚才我们唱的那首歌，是说主耶稣要把这个的这个的呃这个教会建立在这个磐石上，第一的门并不能够对我们做什么事情。That means we have to be partners with Him. It's not like God, you build the church. God said, "I'll build to you." And you are the church. 就是说，也就是说，耶稣需要和我们来到一起同工，来到建立教会。Great song, Felicia. Great choice. That was good. This song, this. God said, "I will build you. You, you are the church." 就是说，就是说，神跟我们说，神要建立我们，您就是教会。As you are built, then you get strong, and you will storm the gates of hell. 当你强壮起来的时候，你就能够胜过这个地狱的。It's not the gates of hell chasing us. We, you know, have you ever seen any doors chasing after you? Huh? 就是说，并不是地狱的门来到去追赶我们。Doors are there to protect, right? 就是说，这个门是要拿来保护我们的。Behind the doors are people that are in bondage, that are in prison, that are captives, that are lost, that are wounded and hurt. In the enemy's camp, and God said, "We got to storm those gates, and nothing is going to stop us from storming into the gates of hell." We want to come to break through these gates, because in these gates there are those who are bound, who are bound, who are bound, who are bound, who are bound. But we got to be strong. We got to be built up as a church. The Church of Jesus, we need to be strong. We need to be built up. That's right. That's why we need to be strong. We need to be built up. That's right. That's why we need to be strong. We need to be built up. That's right. That's why we need to be strong. We need to be built up. That's right. That's why we need to be strong. We need to be built up. That's right. That's why we need to be strong. 更深、更深的关系。In this season, I believe God thinks no more baby stage Christian anymore. 就说在这个季节里面，神不要再看到那些只有在出生婴孩的阶段。No more staying in your comfortable level anymore. 不要在你自己本身这个舒适的这个的圈子里面。Jesus told Peter, "Now you go out where is deeper and let down your nets to catch some fish." 就说耶稣叫彼得说：“你把船开到水深之处，下网打鱼。” You know God wants us personally to grow more than our ministries to grow. 就说神其实要我们个人的灵命成长多过我们这个的施工的成长。If our ministries grow, outgrow us, we are in trouble. 如果我们的施工成长超过我们的灵命的话，我们就有问题了。But if we are personally Outgrowing our ministry, personally, our growth is outgrowing our ministry. Then we are safe. No, we should be our spiritual growth is greater than our physical growth. We are safe. Because there are people who are who are their ministry is outgrowing them. They collapse. Because there are people who are their ministry is outgrowing them. They collapse. They burn out. For some people, maybe their ministry is greater than their physical growth. They don't have the capacity to handle the ministry, the weight of the ministry. They don't have the capacity to handle the ministry, the weight. Of the ministry, that's why we need to build ourselves personally up. So 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 we need to build ourselves But church is more than just Christians; it is for the lost people. 就是说，教会呢是不单只是给基督徒，是给那些还没有信耶稣的人。Because every healthy and good thing grows. 
每一个健康的东西都应该是成长的。If your baby doesn't grow, you'll be concerned, right? Moms, dads. 如果你的婴孩并不会长大，你就会开始担心起来了。Some people say, "No, I don't want to. I don't want growth. I just want Jesus." Sounds spiritual, ah? 就说有些人说，我不要成长，我只是需要耶稣。看起来好像很属灵一样。We want quality. We don't want quantity. 我们要的只是我们重视这个不重量。Growth is healthy. Growth is normal. 就是说，成长是好的，成长是是正常的。Because every healthy things grow. 每一样健康的东西都应该成长。But where God wants to personally for us to grow is first and foremost to develop depth. 就是说，神要我们的成长，就是呢，要有这个深度，把就算能够在深处里面成长。To go deeper in your private life. 就在你的个人生命里面，就是要往深处来到去成长。To go into the secret place in your prayer life. 就是要去到你内心里面这个最奥秘、最神秘的地方来到祷告。To go deeper into your fasting life. 就是在你的这个的进食里面来到继续的成长。To launch deep into our Giving and our sowing. 就是说，在我们这个奉献上来到，继续的以更深的来到去敬拜他。There is a spiritual momentum, and we can use the word revival. 就是说，这个就是这个属灵方面的这个的节奏，你可以说是以复兴来到去称呼这个的名词。You can really sense that shift in the atmosphere when things change. 你可以重新再感受这个。不同的气氛，当这个当这个的环境成长的时候 ，Do you know the opposite of spiritual momentum? What it is? 你知道这个属灵接触的反义词是什么吗 ？It's like you cast out one demon and then three more demons come after you. Ah, 就好像你赶鬼一样，你赶走了一个鬼，还有三个鬼在那边等着你。It's like every turn you have got more trouble, you got more、uh, drama, you got more pressure, you got more pain. <laughs> 就说，就好像在每一个的转弯处，你有更多的这一个的痛苦，你有更多的挣扎。It's not easy. 是不容易的。And you ask yourself, why am I in all these things? What am I doing? Am I called to do this? 就说你会问你自己，为什么我活在这种这样的情况当中？是否我被招就是有这种这样的情况呢 ？It's like I'm fishing all night and I caught nothing. 就说，就好像我去。捕鱼一样，我整捕了整个晚上，一条鱼都没有。I want to be real with you, ah,、uh, church. Can I be real with you? Yeah, 我要很认真，我要很真正的来到去看待你。There's a lot of pressure that a lot of people don't understand that's on the pastors. 就是很多人不明白，有时身为牧师，你都不了解牧师方面这些的压力。When you see things that are not happening, do you know what? You feel like everybody is looking at you and saying you are responsible. 就说你感觉到当事情不能够好好的发生的时候，很多人就在看作这些的牧师。Don't forget, we pay you. 哦，因为是教会给钱给牧师的。So you should do your job. Why is it not happening? 就说你应该做你的事情，为什么为什么这些事情没有发生呢 ？Our campus pastor is smart. They all, I want, we want to pay them. We say no, no, we don't want to pay. We don't want to pay. We don't want the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Smart, same pressure, yeah. <laughs> pressure, same pressure, pressure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, pressure to produce results. <laughs> oh, okay. So, 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 The New Testament Church didn't grow, didn't grow because of the pastors. 新约的教会并没有因为牧师而成长。Everywhere that persecution came upon the church, the church was dispersed, and the church went everywhere, building everywhere, starting, uh, winning souls and starting planting churches. 当这个逼迫来到的时候呢，他打散了这些新约的教会，这些的教会去到各个不同的地方，他们成立新的教会。But nowadays, today's our concept of church has changed. Oh, today, today, in this era, church has changed. Is I coming to church? I want to be entertained. I want great worship, great atmosphere. Is I coming to church? I want to be entertained. I want great worship, great atmosphere. Huh? Great lights and whatever. And I want to be inspired. Huh? I want my kids to be taken care of, and that's church to them. 就是说，教会对人来说，现在呢，我来到教会，我需要
，坐在那边好好的享受，我应该得到祝福，我的孩子应该得到应该得到的教导。It's no more a community of faith, a community of faith that lives together, that works together, that reaches out to fulfill the the commission of Jesus. 就说，其实这个教会呢，其实是一般信主的一般的人，要来到去，去来到实现耶稣给过我们这个大使命。Like I say, I want to be real with you, lah, huh? So I'm saying this to you because it's a phenomenal now. Everybody, they don't want any pressure. You know what they do? I feel called to go to another church. <laughs> okay, 有一些人呢就是逃避这个现实。如果他们不想这样的话，他们就认为神带领我去到另外一间的教会。The church is too much, putting too much pressure on me, lah. Ah, uh, to serve lah, to go for connect group lah, to give lah. No, I just want to go and hide in some big church where I don't have to do anything. No pressure. No pressure. Ah, 就好像很想啊，我去躲到别的教会去啊。这个教会一直叫我参加小组啦，又要服侍啦，种种之类。I'm telling you the truth. I have pastors coming to me. They've lost heaps of their members because everybody want to go to the latest, the the the, the latest, the biggest, the High tech church where it's huge, where they don't have to do anything. Revival is already there. 就是很多我们的牧师朋友都跟我们说，他们的教会的会友都去那些很大的那种高科技的那教会，很多人就因为他们不需要做什么事情。So you think what is happening here is strange? It's not strange in a lot of churches that you don't know of. It's happening to so many churches. I'm telling you because I'm in touch with pastors. 因为其实，在这个教会里面发生的事情，并不是什么新的事情，因为这一件事情也发生在其他的教会。So the fault is not with the church and with the pastor. Don't go and judge other churches. Ah, all they are doing is they're trying to take our members. No, no, no. Stop, stop condemning other churches. All right? 就是我们在这里，我们不可以论断其他的教会、其他的牧师。It's not the pastors. It's the people. 是人。It's the people. 是教会的会友。It's your mentality as a consumer. Not a community. You don't want community. 就说你有的思想是一种消费者的思想，而不是 You just want to consume. 你只是要消费 It's like you a bigger supermarket is open. Let's all move there. All of us go shop there. 就好像你有更大的这个超市开了之后，你一直要走到这更大更好的超市来的去购物 Yeah, they're giving us better service there. 他给的是更好的服务，就有更好的价钱。Can I be honest with you? 我可以对你坦白一点吗 ？Because if that's what you are thinking, that's what a lot of Christians are thinking nowadays. 如果你那个是你所想的，或者是其实很多基督徒所想的。But it's in these local churches that you are going to be disciple to serve Jesus. 说你要在这个本地，这个在这个区域的教会，你要开始来到去服侍神。Because you can't hide here in a smaller church. Everybody know whether you came to church or not. <laughs> 在这个这么小的教会，他们知道你到底有没有来教会。Maybe you can bluff Pastor Joe and me lah, because we keep switching back and forth, and we don't know who came to church, who didn't come to church. <laughs> 或者是你可以欺骗我，或者是 Pastor Joe， 因为可能因为我们有时这这轮流到吉隆坡去。I came to church, Pastor. You were not here. We, I was here last week. Yeah, I believe you. Okay, I believe some of you. All right. <laughs> 我说可能你在你就不在的时候，我是有来教会的。So I'm I'm telling you how I feel. <laughs> But I'm saying, church, we all need to grow up now. 就说教会，我们要一起的来到成长。We all need to carry the commission of Jesus. 我们一定也要一起的来到去拿做这个耶稣给过我们的大使命。We all need to run our race and stay on our paths. 就说我们需要来到去跑这个的啊，这这我们去角逐这个神给我们要做的。Let me tell you what happens when go to the deep. 让我给你知道，当你开到水深之处，什么事情发生 ？A few things will happen. You will lose control. <laughs> you can't hold this to this control. Because you're no more on a stable ground. You're not in these stable, stable places. You have to surrender to the wave and to the waters. So you can, you can have these waves and waves. And if you don't have a boat, you're going to die. You're going to drown, and you're going to die. If you don't have a boat, you're going to drown, and you're going to die. If you don't have a boat, you're going to drown, and you're going to die. So depth is scary. Shallow is safe. 就是很多人都会想到，就是说去到深处呢是没有安全感，是可怕的。在水浅之处，你觉得是很安全。哈 ，that is risky because you're going to be criticized whatever you are doing. 就是说在水深的地方，就是说它是，就是说你可能会是冒险的，你可能会被批评。Shallow, nobody talks about you because you're not doing anything. 
如说在浅的地方，你根本没有做什么东西，因为你你至少没有人会讲你。And you think that you're balanced, that you think that you are wise, but you don't see the supernatural. 就是说，你认为一切都是美好，都是安好，可是你看不到超自然事情的发生。And so the disciples they were cleaning the nets. The nets were clean, but the nets were meant to be full of fishes. 就是说，在当时门徒在清洁，在洗着他们的网，其实那些网是要把它撒出去的。That's what the church is for. The church is for the lost. The church is for signs and wonders. The church is an army, not an audience. 就是说，这个教会呢，是给那一些迷失还没有信耶稣的；这个教会呢，是给那一些还在黑暗里面的，是一支的军队。God is challenging us all today and say, "I want you to go into the deep." 今天神要在挑战我们，要去到水深之处。Deep means to risk. Deep means to give. Deep means to sacrifice. To lay down your Plans maybe, and decide that you're going to build his church. This deep water is the place where you need to come to the edge of the ocean. You need to come to 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 the ocean. 就是说，在我们的祷告，在我们的经史，在我们的奉献上，看到水深之处。One thing that debt will be, uh, will do to every person is this: it's going to cost you. 就说这个看到水深之处，你需要付上这个的代价。Debt is measured by the amount of sacrifice that we are willing to take. 就说它有多深呢？就是看你愿意牺牲的多少。Would you make the sacrifice to see the fire of God fall? 你愿意围着看到圣灵的火降临？围着 fire is not going to fall unless there's a sacrifice that's laid out on the altar. 就说如果你要看到圣灵这个火的降临，你需要来到牺牲。So what is God speaking to you today? 今天神到底要对我们说什么 ？You listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit today. 你有听到圣灵所讲的吗 ？Maybe God saying to some of you, go into the depth of prayer. 有些人他可能对一些人说，你。你说在祷告上，你看到水深之处。That's why this year we are into prayer. We are very strongly going to build on prayer. 是的，今年我们非常注重在祷告方面。Are you willing to come for the Thursday corporate prayer? You know, it's tough because it's after your work on a Thursday. The traffic is horrible, as you know, coming into Banda Putri. But you say, I'm going to, I am going to make the sacrifice to come. 就说你愿意来到我们星期四的联合祷告会吗？因为这一个是非常重要的，在这个赛车的时候，你愿意加进来教会来到参加祷告会吗 ？I understand, I understand. Some of you just can't make it, or whatever reason it is. But for those who can, will you make that sacrifice and say, "I'm willing to make that sacrifice to come and pray together with the church." 注意那些能够来到星期四祷告会的，你愿意牺牲，你愿意付上这个时间的代价吗 I, I'm, ？I'm so proud of the parents here because they you know that that prayer meeting where we have all the young people here, they all brought their kids for the prayer. 你说我非常为了这些的父母亲，有这些青年孩子的父母亲感到骄傲，因为他们把孩子送过来这个祷告会。Because kids they can't drive. Parents, 因为孩子不能驾车。<laughs> And I, I'm so. So inspired, so encouraged. I said when I saw all these young people, although they can't pray well, but they are trying. And I'm saying that because you make the sacrifice, God's going to fall. The fire of God's going to come. Yeah, 就是因为看到这些青少年，因为就是因为他们愿意的付出，甚至圣灵的火会降临。You get your kids in under the fire of God. Let me tell you, you don't have to worry about them going astray from God. All right. 当这些事情发生的时候，做父母亲的你根本不用担心你的孩子会会会成为坏孩子。The fire of God is going to keep them, protect them, and strengthen them. 就是这个顺利的火会继续的来到，使他们强壮。Maybe you choose to sacrifice by daily waking up earlier so that you can get alone with God in your prayer. 可能你是说选择，就是说在早上的时间很早起来，来到花时间来到与神独处。That's one. But some of you, God may be speaking to you and saying, "What about the depth in the sacrifice of fasting?" So, 对一些人来讲，神可能会鼓励你说，啊，可能你你要把船开到水深之处，在你的进食祷告方面
Fasting is hard because we all love food, don't we? <laughs> 对大部分人来说，进食是非常困难的，因为我们都爱吃。Especially Malaysians, we eat so much, we eat so often. 也就是对马来西亚人，我们都很常吃。The idea of fasting is huge for some people. 就对一些人来讲，就是进食是一个很大件的事情。The idea even of extended fasting is like you feel like you're getting a heart attack. Ah,、huh? forty days, pastor, I'm going to fast. 对于一些人来说，四十天的进食祷告根本是不可能的事情。But a healthy person, I believe,、uh, you have to be careful with health as well, huh? If you are a healthy person, then you're not going to die from fasting, okay? You are going to die from overeating, actually. 你说对于那些健康的人，其实四十天的进食祷告不会导致你健康有什么的问题。Isn't it? Hmm? Do you know what? You don't fast, ah?、Uh, I tell you, you end up also you have to fast. You fall sick, you end up fasting. <laughs> How many of you? You know that's fasting. When you fall sick, you can't eat anything. It's false fasting, lah. Oh, 就是说，对于那些如果你生病的话呢，就是说，也许你也不能够吃。Yeah. So I'm saying that this year, this is something scary for me too, ah, about fasting. Okay, lah. Ask me skip one meal. It's okay. I'll skip a meal that I I don't like eating my breakfast anyway. Okay, skip my breakfast. But you ask to skip two meals. I maybe go on a three complete day fast. That's scary, even for me. So, 对我来说，其实可能不吃早餐一餐还行，不过两次两餐或者是三天不吃，那个是一个很大的挑战。But God speaking to us. 可神对我们说。Pastor Joe and I, we have, we know God speaking to us, and this year is a year that we are going on a fast, seriously going on a fast, because we are desperate for God. 那今年呢，巴斯就和我呢，就说我们对这个进食是非常非常认真的，因为今年呢，就是说神要在我们的当中来到动工。I'm I'm surprised. I mean, the capacity for pastor to fast. I'm even I'm looking at him also because、uh, he decided on a fast, and I said, okay, go ahead. <laughs> I see how you're going to do it, and it's like the more you fast, I'm telling you, the more you want to fast. 当你开始进食的时候呢？就是说，你越要来到进食与祷告。The more you pray, the more you will continue to pray. 就当你越祷告的时候呢，你就越要的来到祷告。I'm telling you, don't wait for the feeling to come. Oh, when I feel ah,、uh, I want to pray, then I'll pray. No. 不要等到那种祷告的感觉来到的时候，你才去祷告。Because when you start praying, that's when the feelings will come. 当你开始祷告的时候，那一种的感觉才会来到。So this year, our plan is to all of us, huh? I don't know how many of you are willing to go on a three-day complete fast. If you can follow us on a just three-day complete fast before Good Friday and Easter, we are doing from the fourth to the sixth of March. We're going to announce this, huh? Together, our people to fast. 就是说这一个呢，我们今年会有一个连续三天的进食祷告，就是在这一个的呃呃四月的时候呢，就是说。连续三天的这个的进食祷告。If you can't, it's okay for health reason or your your medical reasons. You can't do it. It's fine, huh? But go on a three-day fast together with us as a church. 就是说，每一间的教会，我们同同心的，一起的来到在这三天，一起的来到进食祷告。Of course, annually we have our forty days of fasting and prayer as well, from the eighth of August to fifteenth of September, our Malaysia Day. 就是当然，我们每年都有一年一度的这个四十天的经世祷告，从八月到九月。Now, that's one aspect that God could be speaking to you about. 那个可能就是其中一点，神要叫叫我们把这个开到水深之处的。For some of you, your debt could be giving sacrificially. 对于某些人来说，可能神要你把船开到水深之处，在你的奉献方面。I remember when we were pioneering, when we had so little in our income, like I shared before. 就是说，当时我就跟你们分享过，当我们开始在开荒教会的时候，我们的收入不多。I remember God spoke to Pastor Joe to give like five thousand to a building fund of our church. 就说有一次，就说我和 Pastor Joe 有谈到要要奉献五千块在一个的计划上。I know it's such a small amount today, lah, huh? To think about it, but for us, it's big, big for me because we just bought our single-story terrace house, you know, and、uh, kids are growing up, they're going to college. 就说对我们来说，我们刚买屋子的，还有我们孩子的教育费呢。那时候的那这一个的价钱是很对我们讲是不可思议的。And I struggle, I struggle. I don't know about.、Uh, 
I always think pastor is greater uh, uh, faith in giving. Huh? I struggle to give because I was thinking we need to save for our future. 就虽然牧师来说，我本身也挣扎做，其实我们也是否是应该为将来来到存一点钱呢 ？It was very painful for me to think about releasing that amount, but I just trusted my husband that everything is going to be okay. 就说在当时，就说要把它放出去，奉献出去。不过在当时，我就相信巴斯特教授说的。But through the years, I want you to know that when we keep exercising our giving muscle, we become stronger. And eventually, it's not going to be painful anymore. 就是在经过多年的这个的操练，在奉献方面呢，现在我们感觉到奉献呢，并不是一件很痛苦的事情。You all know, right? When you first start on an exercise regime, your whole body ache. You are in pain on the first day. 就好像你首先要开始健身的，你去到健身室，你首先的那一两天都是你肌肉非是非常疼痛。But as you keep going, push through the pain. After a while, you build the muscle. You don't feel as much pain. When you continue to hold on to it, when you have the muscle, you don't feel as much pain. I am telling you that. That is an experience you will experience when you first take the challenge to give. 就是说，那一个就是你可能开始给，就是说给奉献的时候，那一种这样的感觉。It's going to be painful for you. 所以说，对你来讲，可能是痛苦的事情。But God is saying, "Step out into the deep right now." 就是说，神说，你站出来吧。This year, I'm God, God speaking to me. I don't know about you, but I believe that the church need to rise up. We're going to build our new building at Rimbayu. 这几年是说，神给我们知道，就是我们需要在我们新的教会 Rimbayu 这个地方建这个教会。We are so excited. It's a new church. It's a new building. It's going to be beautiful, huh? Brand new. 这个是一个全新的一个的教会的这个建筑物。I believe God's going to speak to us. 所以说，相信神会对我们说话。As a church, that we will make our sacrifice in giving. 就是说，身为教会，我相信神要来到感动我们，来到奉献。I'm sowing into my future. I'm sowing into my children and into my children's children, grandchildren. 就是、说我是杀种在我的下一个下一代，我自己的孙子，我的孙子的儿子。Go ahead and also invest into your natural account or whatever your earthly account, whatever investments that you have. Go ahead. <laughs> 就说你可以继续的在你的这个地下里面那些的呃这些的投资基金，你继续的投资。I wish I've learned to invest, huh? Uh, not just save. I used to just save a lot, but to invest uh, now. Uh, now only I'm starting to do a little bit of an investment with what money that we have, uh, but go ahead, do whatever plans you have for invest investment, do it. But don't forget to invest into the heavenly account as well. 就是说，当然我们在地上的时候，我们可以用来投资任何地下的基金。可是我们不要忘记投资在神的国度里面。There's another level of ministry. There's another level of the supernatural that God wants to take us there. 就是那一个是一个神要带我们去到一个更高的层次，是一个属灵的层次。Every time God wants to release a supernatural catch, a supernatural momentum, He will ask you for something. 就是、说，当每一次神要启动这个属灵的杰作的时候，神会要向你要求一些东西。It will be different for different seasons and different people. 就是说，对于每一个人来讲，对于每一个季节，它都是不同的。But one thing is in common, like I said, that something that will cost you. 就是说，同样的一个事情将发生，就是它一定是要你付上这个代价。So、hash, hashtag that there is a cost. For being deep, there's a cost for being deep. 就说你可以在留言区里面放上呢，这一个的深处是有代价的。Are we willing to go to the deep? 我们愿意去到这个水深之处。Or have we, ah,、uh, have we found a very comfortable level now where we are just waist deep, where we are still in control? 就说你可能现在是不是在一个很舒适的范围里面？你觉得现在已经是足够了 ？But in that place. You're not going to see the supernatural. 可是，在那个暗示的这个的地方，你见不到超自然事情的发生。It's got to be in a place where you say, "God, I trust you with my life." Hallelujah. 
，你是要在一个地方呢，是完完全全委托给神神了、啊，就是说我你来来到保守我的生命。I want to create. God wants to create a shift in our lives. 就是说，神要在我们的生命里面呢，来到去启动这个的改变。It's not about how much you are giving or how much you are praying or how much you are sacrificing or fasting. 不是说你给多少，你祷告多少。But like in this season, God is saying to you, whatever He says, you do. 是说，在这个季节里面，就好像神说的，他所吩咐的，我们是实行出来。Just like Peter said, whatever you say, I'll do it. 就好像彼得所说的，你做的是什么，我去做了。Even though it doesn't make sense, we've done it. We caught nothing, but if that's what you say, I'm going to do it. 就说那一个就是，如果是你所说的，我就照你的话去做。When you go into the deep, you are going low. You are going to be humbling yourself. You are going to obey the voice of God. 当你去到水深之处的时候，你将会谦卑你自己下来，去听神的声音。Let me tell you, prayer is going to defeat pride. 就是我让我让人知道，就是这个祷告呢，帮助你能够打败这个的自夸。Fasting is going to help you to defeat lust. 进食呢，能够帮助你胜过这个的欲望。Sacrifice is going to help you defeat greed and selfishness. 牺牲呢，能够帮助你胜过这个的贪婪。That's right. So if we are not praying, it's not because we are busy. Because we are prideful. We think I, we, I can do it. I can handle it. Now, I don't need God. I don't need to constantly pray to God. I can do it. 就说有时我们需要祷告，而我们不去祷告，不是说我们不能够，或者是没有时间祷告，而是我们有这个自傲、自夸的心。God wants to kindle the fire in all of us again. Amen. How many of us are saying yes, Lord? 神要激再次的点燃在我们火，这个我们内心里面这一这一把的火。I'm willing to make the sacrifice. 我愿意来到做出这个的牺牲。To go into the deep. 来到去到水深之处。You know, Paul is saying in one Corinthians here, huh, that Jesus is the foundation. We sang the song just now, isn't it? That Jesus is really the foundation of our lives. Amen. 就说耶稣在哥林多前书里面讲到，他是我们这个的根基。But be careful how you build on that foundation. 说你要很小心的如何来到去建立这个的根基。You you have seen pictures how in Turkey buildings just collapse like that, huh? Huh? Buildings collapse. Ah,、uh, and and、uh, mm, the engineers are saying that it's because many of those buildings don't have strong pillars. They're just putting piling on top. On top of the buildings that don't have a strong foundation and pillars to hold those buildings. 就好像在土耳其最近这个的地震一样，这些的为什么这个建筑会倒？因为在他们底层底下呢，他们完完全没有那个根基、那个支柱在那边。So all those buildings just collapse like a pack of cards. 就好像这些建筑就好像一堆的卡一样，这样就就倒下去了。That's so sad, right? When you look at the pictures and you see the suffering that's happening in Turkey, in Syria. 就说在土耳其和这个叙利亚所发生的事情是非常悲哀的事情。So I want you to know, as a church, that we need to build our lives right. 就说我要你知道，教会就是呢，有我们需要好好的建立我们的生命。How are you building your life? 你如何建立你的生命呢 ？The Bible says there are six. Building materials that we can use. 就是说，在圣经里面讲，有总共六种的材料你可以用。Are we building with gold, silver, and precious stones? 我们是否是来到在用这个金银或者是宝石来到建立呢 ？Are we building with wood, hay, and straws? 或者是我们以木块、以干草，或者是以这个稻草来到建造呢 ？I want you to see the contrast here between the two. Now, gold, silver, precious stones are all found underground in small amounts and are extremely expensive, right? This gold and this precious stone are found underground in small amounts and are extremely expensive, right? This gold and this precious stone are found underground in small amounts and are extremely expensive, right? This gold and this precious stone are found underground in small amounts and are extremely expensive, right? This gold and this precious stone are found underground in small amounts and are extremely expensive, right? This gold and this This gold, silver, precious stones are found underground in small amounts and are extremely expensive. Right? This gold and this precious stones are found underground in small amounts and are extremely expensive. Right? This gold and this precious stones are found underground in small amounts and are extremely expensive. Right? This gold and this precious stones are found underground in small amounts and are extremely expensive. Right? This gold and this precious stones are found underground in small amounts and are extremely expensive. Right? This gold and this precious stones are found underground in small amounts and are extremely expensive. Right? This gold and this precious stones are found underground in small amounts and are extremely expensive. Right? This gold and this precious stones are found underground in small amounts and are extremely expens
就是说，如果那些金银和这个宝石经过这个火焰的话呢，它是一，它的价钱更贵。But when you put wood, hay, and straw through fire, what happens? It just all burn up and go up in smoke and ashes. 如果你把木头、干草和稻草放进去火里面呢，全部都变成这个灰烬了。All it takes is fire, and it's all gone. 就是只是需要火来到去试验。So church, we are going into hard times. I'm telling you. Hard times. It's not going to be easy. The future that we're going into. 就是说，教会，我要给你知道，就是我们来到是一个时代，不是一个容易的时代。We are going to be persecuted, church. If you believe in the Bible, the world is going to come up to you. The world is going to attack you and persecute you. And well, that's what one of the the last jumped in Bible study series that Pastor Joe is going to teach about. 就是说，这个我们来到这个时代里面呢，就是说是受逼迫的时代。这个时代，基督徒将受外面的世界这个敌人的逼迫。When persecution come, are you going to back off? Are you going to say, "Oh, I, I, I just want to be neutral. I just want to sit on the fence because I don't want people to hate me <laughs> for what I believe." 就是不是你再次一个的呃逼迫来到的时候，你只是想保持中立呢？也不要人来到讨厌你，或者是你为你自己着想。Maybe somebody is going to leave the church. Are you going to be affected because your best friend left the church? Ah, so say, 可能会有人离开教会，或是所以是你的好朋友要离开教会。Or maybe some bad news, one scandal, one problem that happened in the church or whatever. 就说可能在你的教会要发生一些逃世的新闻。And then you lost your way. 然后你就失去了你的信心。Why? Because you're building your life. Not with gold, silver, and precious stones. Why? Why? You are not using gold and precious stones to build your life. It's so easy when you go through the fire and your life just collapses. 就是说，当当就算你用这一些其他的东西来到去经过火的话，很容易你就会倒下来了。There's such an urgency here to tell you because that's what we are entering into this new season. That we got to be strong if you're going to last. 就是、说，所以在这个新的季节里面，如果你要维持在神的国度里面的时候呢，这个是非常重要的。There are lots of people who are compromising now because they don't want the persecution. 就是说，其实很多人他就在妥协，他们可能不能够熬过这个逼迫的时间。They don't want to be called bigots and narrow-minded and whatever call names for being a Christian or for what you stand for, for what you believe. 因为他们可能不想成为基督徒，因为基督徒可能给人一种想法，就是思想是很狭窄的，是很古老的一种想法。But you are going to build right, amen. 这个可是我们需要来到在神的国度里面建造。I'm going to build and build my foundation right underground. It may not appear big in the eyes of people; they don't see you big. But just wait. Your foundation will be tested when the storm comes. When the fire comes, 当我们能够在我们有深处来到建造的时候呢，就是说当火来到的时候，当暴风雨来到的时候，我们能够经得起这个的考验。When you pay the price in your relationship with God, you can go through the fire, you can go through the flood, you will not burn and you will not drown. Amen. Hallelujah. 就是说，当我们能够靠着主来到建立这一个的关系的时候呢，我们能够经得起所有的风浪。Tell your neighbor. Go deep. <laughs> Come on. Touch your neighbor. Go deeper. 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 Go Samson was caught by the enemies, the Philistines, and what happened? They gouged out his eyes. They bound him with bronze chains, and they make him to work grinding the grain in prison. 就是说，腓力斯人把这个参孙他抓住之后，割去他的眼睛，就是说，然后用铜链来到绑住他。他在监牢里面做推磨的工作。I mean, Samson had the anointing of God. Samson. Samson had a relationship with God. 就是说，参孙呢，他有这种神的恩膏，他和神有这个很好的关系。But he was compromising. He was sinning secretly behind. 可是他在他私底下呢，他妥协了，他犯罪了。Eventually, 
He was captured by his enemies. Now look at Samson. He was bound. He was blinded. He was bald because he was shaved. He was just busy grinding, going in circles, round and round and round. 当他被抓住的时候呢，他的眼睛瞎了，他又被头这个这个链绑住，他又光头，他又在监狱里面做这种苦力的工作。Even in that condition, God was with him. God was with him, and God is not finished with him. God still has a plan for his life. 虽然他在那一种的情况，可是仍然的神还是实行神在他身上的计划。God has a plan and purpose for his life to destroy. The enemies, the Philistines. 就是说，神有这个计划，让参孙来到去打败这一些的腓力斯人。The same way I'm saying to you today. 同样的，今天我要告诉你。Maybe some of some of you or some of us may have lost our vision. 可能我们已经失去了这一个的意向。Or we have become spiritually blind. We lost our passion. We lost our discipline. We have lost our fire. So we have lost our passion. We have lost our discipline. We have lost our fire. So we have lost our passion. We have lost our discipline. We have lost our fire. So we have lost our passion. We have lost our discipline. We have lost our fire. So we have lost our passion. We have lost our discipline. We have lost our fire. So we have lost our discipline. We have lost our passion. We have lost our discipline. We have lost our fire. So we have lost our passion. We have lost our discipline. We have lost our fire. Maybe your devotional life, your relationship with God, has been shaved off, and the anointing has been gone. 就是说，对一些人来讲，就是说，你可能在这个时候，你的头是光的，是因为在属灵的意思来讲，就是说，你和神的关系不好。And you feel there's no more power in you. 就是在你里面没有能力。No more power to resist sin. 就是没有能力在抵挡罪。Today, I believe there are practical steps that we can come back to God again. 今天我们相信有一些实际的方法来到回到神的面前。Draw near to God, God says, and He will draw near to us. 就说你要去接近神，你让他来到去接近。You got to start drawing near to God first. 你要首先先接近神。You got to do what you used to do before. 你需要做你曾经做过的事情。And you want to know the wonderful thing is Samson's hair starts to grow again. Hallelujah. 所以当时就是很感谢主的，就是参孙的他的头发开始又长回了。Eventually, it grew back. You will notice your passion, your desires, your discipline starts to come back again. 就是当这个头发长出来的时候，他开始有回了这个的能力，这个的体力，这个的热忱。You will notice that is you will begin to be willing to make sacrifice, to pray, to give, huh? To read the word once again. 就说你开始醒觉到，你开始要来到，就是说要祷告了，要看神的话语了，要开始再次的奉献了。And as you read the word of God, you have less and less desire to have watch TV or Netflix constantly all the time, just wasting your time. Like I said, the more you do something, the more desire you're going to have for that. Okay. 就说当你要做某一样事情更多的时候，你越有这个欲望要去做。You may be bound by whatever it is that you are bound, like Samson was bound. 就好像参孙一样，你可能被某一些东西来到压制住你。We think that we are strong enough. We can manage our anger. I can manage my depression. I can manage my grief. I can manage my this pet secret sin. Huh? 就说我我们可能会想到，我可以压制，就算控制我自己的这一个的愤怒，我自己的这一个的啊脾气。God didn't ask you to flirt with Delilah. God asked you to defeat the Philistines. 就是神没有叫我们去来到和这个大理啦，这个的妓女来到来到困下去。The good news is, if we are desperate, we are hungry, and we're going to call out and say, "God deliver me! God deliver me!" God's going to answer, just as God answered the prayer of Samson. 就说当你有这个的需要来到向神呼求的时候，就好像神如何回应这个参孙的一样，神是使你能够重新得力。We're going to pray right now. Let's bow our heads. I don't know about you. Let's get into the presence of God right now. Let's get into the presence of God right now. And let's begin to 
hear what the Holy Spirit is saying to you. He may be telling you to do something that you've never done before. Does God want to take you out of the cycle that you've been going around and around? Cycle of routine that you're going round and around. You don't even know you are a slave. You are a prisoner, and you're just grinding the grain, going round and round in circles. 就是说，你一直好像山村一样，在牢里面在做这个推磨的工作，一直在转圈。I pray that today the fire of God will fall on us again. 我今天祷告呢，这个顺利的火能够来到我们的当中。Your spiritual eyes will be open. Your 属灵的眼睛将打开 Your spiritual ears will be unlocked. 你的属灵的这个耳朵将能够打开 Your hair, your devotion, your life with God will begin to grow back again. 这个你这个属灵的这个的头发和神的关系再次的重生 And every bondage that the enemy has bound you with, secret sins, will be broken over your life. 每一种这个在你个人生命里面受魔鬼压制的，都能够断开这个的锁链。And God will restore to you everything that you have lost. Hallelujah. 神再次的给回你一切你所失去的，重新给你重新得力。And you will start taking dominion over your life again. 你得重新的再次掌管你的生命。That's what God created us for: to have dominion, not to be controlled, but to reign, to rule. 就说，就好像神创造我们，让我们去靠着他，以他的权柄来到去活着。Whatever God's assignment and purpose has for your life, don't stop, don't quit, no matter how discouraged you may be. 就说，对于神给过你生命里面的计划，你不要停止，你继续的神的工作。Amen. Amen. How many of us will say yes, God? That's me. I want my eyes to be open. Lift your hands to God and say, "That's me, O God." That's me, O God. It's the Holy Spirit that's calling you. Is the Holy Spirit telling you? You to the Holy Spirit today. Is that you want to respond to the Holy Spirit? You to Him today. You want to respond to the Holy Spirit? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even though you are bleeding, but you say, God, I'm still going. I'm not going to quit. I'm going to continue to serve you. 就是、说我不会放弃，我会继续的来到服侍你。I'm gonna keep loving you and keep pursuing you. 叫我继续的来到追随你。It's the Holy Spirit that's doing that in your life. 就是圣灵在你你你的生命里面工作。Because you took one step forward, the Holy Spirit is God is running towards you. 因为你开始向神有反应，所以神开始要接近你。So let's pray right now, Amen. Stand with me, shall we? 我们起的来到祷告。Let's stand, Hallelujah. 我们起的站起来。Hallelujah. Raise your hands to God. Raise your hands towards heaven. Total surrender to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 完全完全降服在他的面前。Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 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 Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Move, move in our hearts, move in our life. We want to hear you. We want to see you, Jesus, afresh. Afresh again. Hallelujah. 重新的，焕然一新。Hallelujah. Fire to fall. Hallelujah. Fire to burn again. 我那个圣灵的火要降临。We are the sacrifice. Hallelujah. 是的。Lord, we hear your voice today to go deeper. 圣灵，我们听到你的声音，要去更深。To launch into the deep. 去到更水深之处。In the area of praying, in the area of fasting, in the area of giving, whatever you say, O Lord, we will do. You say the word, we will just do it. We come back to you again. We come back to you again. 
We ask that the things of the world will grow dim in our eyes. That our eyes, spiritual eyes, will be open to the spirit realm. You will be clearer to us more than the things of this world. So I pray right now for spiritual eyes to be open. Hallelujah. The anointing to come pluck the ears. Anointing to open ears. Spiritual ears to be open. Hearts, oh God, to turn back to you once again. Hands that are bound are going to be free, set free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. I'm free from everything. Every addiction, Hallelujah. Every darkness, every oppression, Hallelujah. 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 The anointing of the Holy Spirit come right now. Break every bondage over our lives. Hallelujah. Break every chains. In the name of Jesus. We want to be free. We want to be free. Hallelujah. We are running back to you again, oh God. We are coming back. We humble ourselves. And we call on your name. Thank you, Jesus. For loving us. For accepting us. For receiving us. For releasing into us. The fire once again to burn. Fire of God to burn. As we stand as your sacrifice. On the altar. We give ourselves to you. Thank you, Jesus. You are my Lord. You are my God. And there is no other. We give ourselves to you completely. To love you and to serve you. And to fulfill your assignment and purpose that you have for us. Bring us back into the race again. The wind of the Spirit to blow and push us forward. We will not quit until we finish the race. We will follow you to the end. And you promise you will never leave us or forsake us. Hallelujah. And you will empower us to do and complete what you have called us. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Something powerful has happened, I believe. In the spirit realm here in this church. Thank you. Please be seated. We are going to uh, present our vision right now. Please be seated. And we are going to present our leaders as well. I want you to look up here. We have a short visual uh, vision presentation, uh, video presentation.
are fleshed up, afterwards we're going to call them up and we're going to pray, for, pray uh, over them. But I know that all of you as a church here, you are supporting, you are standing with these leaders huh, uh, for 2023. So thank you so much. But before we do call them up, I just want to explain very briefly about the strategies that we have for this year, shall we? Can we flesh it up once more time? Yep, that's our vision. Okay, maybe we should read our vision so we remember, right? Since we only get to uh, say it once a year. Let's read it together. Ready? We love God and we love people. We are passionate about doing life together as a Christ-centered, spirit-empowered community. Our mission, let's read, connect to love, serve, and live this journey together. Develop to build bigger people of purpose and power. Empower to create leaders today to make a difference tomorrow. And our theme for 2023 is Refresh. Acts 3 verse 19. Repent therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Okay, I'm going into the strategy, uh, strategy one by one and going to explain to you the first strategy is about how we're going to increase the impact of our Sunday service through effective communion and altar calls. Just let you know that we're going to have training for altar call ministers. We want people to be able to pray, to pray for, for uh, healing, to know how to pray for deliverance. All right, training will be given because uh, I believe that you're going to have friends. You, you are going to invite them who have got needs, uh, who have, may have uh, demonized or we have who are sick, and we're going to see evident supernatural uh, miracles happen as we gather together as a church. Amen. Do you believe that? You see that 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 all of us can be raised to be prayers, to be uh, intercessors and all to call prayers. Not just in church, but what happens is we want this to happen in church because with the gathering of God's people, there's an atmosphere for supernatural miracles to happen. That's what we want to see. How many want to see that happen? Huh? Amen. Amen. The second thing is to create bilingual service to cater to other languages. We must understand that Malaysia is a multiracial country. Not everybody speaks English. There are Chinese Mandarin speaking people. There are people who are, you know, from Sarawak who speaks Bahasa and others who are more Tamil speaking. And we do have a lot of our Tamil mission works who are working among the poor. And we believe that God has empowered us and, and blessed us with beautiful gifts like interpreters and Chinese uh, Mandarin pastor like Pastor uh, Edward and we have raised up a team of interpreters and I know that there are new interpreters that are going to be raised up and we're going to reach out to our Chinese community as well because God loves them, amen? And if we, are, and if we have the people who are able to be trained to reach out to these people, we are going to reach out to all people and that's why our bilingual languages are important. So let's make the sacrifice don't say we all just want our own kind of people to come. No. This church is not just catered for one language, one type of people only. It's to all people. Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. Amen? Amen. All right. Then the third is assimilate every member into connect group for discipleship and evangelism. So every one of you are members here in this church. So that's referring to you. You need to be in a connect group. Next month, we are going into uh, March. Uh, the whole month, we will prepare, be uh, getting you into connect groups. We want to bring back connect group and make connect group as a strong arm of our church. That we are building community with each other. Not just to come on a Sunday to worship and hear a good message, but throughout the week, we are connecting with each other as a community of faith and as a community of faith to reach out to your friends and your neighbors as well. That's why our agenda here is not just discipling you to be devoted followers of Jesus, but as well as to reach out to unchurched people with the good news. That's how are we going to do it? Parties. Ha. More parties. 
birthdays, whatever, anniversaries. But we're going to throw a party every month. Every month we're going to gather together. And when we gather, it's got to be a big deal. Huh? We make it big. All right? And invite your friends and, and your family members to join us. That's our goal, huh? our agenda for connect groups. Okay. Now, developmental process to help our people to grow to maturity. How do we do that? The Jumped In Bible Study Series. Just 10 minutes Bible study. And then uh, we discuss the Jumped In Bible Study Series online with each other. Fantastic, huh? Next steps we are going to have, mm, starting in March again, next step for people to make a commitment to follow Jesus, to go through water baptism, which will happen on Easter. Every Easter, we are going to have water baptism. So if you know of people who have not uh, been water baptized, uh, it's a great time huh, to invite them to join us. Okay, Alpha marriage, Alpha parenting, uh, developmental process that we want people to build strong families, build strong marriages, huh? practical topics that we offer. Now, of course, in future, there are other things that we are going to offer. Uh, the pastors are going through the C3 college now, of course, and uh, we hope to promote that in future. Now, next five, the fifth thing is develop within every member a deep commitment to regular intercessory prayer for spiritual revival. This year, we are serious about building on prayer. That's why we have pre-service prayer, we have corporate prayer uh, coming back again. But more than that, we have a very uh, powerful team leader that has been uh, appointed. Sokwan is going to lead us. Sokwan is going to uh, uh, direct us to more. We're going to do fasting. We're going to do half-night prayer. We're going to do so many things, so many plans. But don't want to frighten you, so I'll tell you everything first. Lah. We built it uh, uh, stages by stages and we're going to get stronger in prayer and in fasting and to see the supernatural happen in our church, okay? We're going to go into the deep end, like I said. Go deeper through prayer and intercession to see spiritual revival back into the church again. Come back to church again. Number six, raising every member for ministry, which is happening. All the young people are in ministry, and if you are not, know that your leaders are going to come <laughs> for you and uh, help you to stream you into a ministry where you are, can be developed huh, to serve God in church. And mission, all right. We are going to do missions as well. More will be shared about that. And we believe in leadership. Everyone is a leader. Why? Because leaders have influence. Do you have influence? Everyone has influence. So you can be a leader in your own rights, huh? in your own sphere that God has called you to. And then seventh, strategy is giving sacrificially. We are going to develop sacrificial generosity extravagant generosity towards mission works that which we have we're going to increase our missions you know our finances uh, have to go up not cut back no this is not <laughs> god is a god of abundance amen and uh, god's going to bless you to be able to sow into mission works th that is in our church among the poor uh, especially our tamil works that we have bringing the love and justice to our needy society so and you matter is part of our arm social work of our arm as well, huh? Of giving sacrificially. Number eight, to raise faith in the area of finances, to build our new church. Hallelujah! At Rimbayu, <laughs> it's going to happen, and God's going to supernaturally, I believe, going to bring people, maybe even outsiders, to build. But it got to start with us. The responsibility starts with us. Don't just pray for a miracle. Somebody will just pay lah, pay the miracle, pay the miracle and cover the whole building. No, there is a responsibility on all of us. Because as we stretch our faith to give, God's going to stretch our financial, release financial harvest into us as well. Because we believe this is the year that God's going to transfer much of the finance or whatever businesses that you are owning and running or you have started. That I know of some of our church members that have started new businesses and they are believing for a hundredfold. 
Not just one or two. Uh. Thank God for Taizo. Thank God for uh, uh, others who have experienced a hundredfold. But we believe that more are going to experience a hundredfold for God's kingdom to advance. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. We all can give. Huh? Whatever amount is not the amount. It is what is left over that God sees and God honors uh, in our giving. Let's stand together and let's begin to present this to God and say, God, this is our faith in you. Every area that we have prayed for and have strategized and we have believed for, that we're going to see this happen in our 2023. Use us, God. Show us what areas we can serve you, we can give to you, we can pray more than ever before. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Please be seated. I'll call Pastor Sunita, our ministry director, to come and present to you our leaders today. Huh? Thank you. Please all be right. seated. Thank you, Pastor Stella. So we saw all the leaders on the video just now. So I'm going to call this great bunch of leaders that we have here for 2023, starting off with Pastor Noel. Campus Pastor, Media, Production, Photography. We have Pastor Edward for Interpretation, New People Ministry. We have Emmanuel and Marlene, our creative team leaders. And under worship, we have Elena. We have Wynn, our band leader. We have Anand for Sound. Ravi for Stewards. Yvonne, hospitality. I know Nisha is not here for Kids Alive. We have Sokwan, our prayer team leader. And Matthew, Jen Alive. So, ladies and gentlemen, these are our leaders, our ministry leaders for 2023. So... <laughs> <laughs> Let's recite the Yeah, so can we get it up on the screen? Okay, this is the leadership covenant that we are going to recite as leaders, everybody together. <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay, so let's start. I, I hereby agree and adhere to the de and adhere to the decree by the leadership of C3 Church. Number one, I am committed to love God with my whole heart, knowing that a passion for God is not the same as a love for God. For it is to be true love, it must be coupled with obedience to Him and His Word. I am committed to personal spiritual growth in the Lord, purposefully and conscientiously building up and living out my faith in Him. I am committed to the vision and purpose God has for C3 Church. As such, I will walk in agreement with the church in the following areas. Praying daily, reading the Bible daily, fasting whenever the Lord leads in the church or personally. Paying my tithe and giving my offerings and pledges to church related fundraising projects. Attending Connect Group meetings, Sunday celebration services, and all meetings organized by the church. I am committed to an active Connect Group life, serving and ministering to the needs of believers in the Connect Group coupled with reaching out and caring for the unbelievers and newcomers who come into contact with the group. I am committed to active discipleship, being disciplined under local church leadership, and being a disciple maker of someone spiritually younger than I. As such, I will practice scriptural submission and accountability to the church leadership. I am committed to be a person of honor, integrity, and truth, paying special attention to the fact that a person's word is the measure of his or her character. 
I am committed to the sound doctrine in the whole counsel of God's word. I am committed to have a freed up lifestyle in order to demonstrate faith and obedience to the leading of the Holy Spirit whenever wherever he moves in my life. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you very much, Pastor Stella. I'm just going to invite Pastor Stella to pray over our leaders. Please stand together with us, church. Stretch your hands out to all these leaders here. That's right. These are the pillars of our church who have sacrificed so much for God and for His house. Let's pray for them. Let's pray that this this year 2023 will be a year where we all pledge to go deeper to fulfill God's assignment that he has given to us and that we will see success we will see progress we will see fruitfulness in our lives and that our their families will be blessed as well their work life will be blessed as well their children will be blessed as well because they serve God and his kingdom amen so let's stretch our hands and begin to bless them right now bless them bless them thank you lord for every single one of them thank you for their love for you thank you for the commitment they've made towards you to follow you to serve you uh, to give to make sacrifices we thank you for all that they have sacrificed you see oh god you know and you are going to reward them and you are going to lift them up raise them up this year to another level as they commit themselves to you and commit their lives to you they commit their ministries to you we ask that you will supernaturally uh, accelerate whatever they're doing they're going to see increase and multiplication because you're going to bless the works of their hands you're going to bring men and women alongside of them who have the same oneness a same unity of heart that will are willing to serve they're willing to serve alongside to give their best for you and your kingdom father i thank you the blessing of god the anointing of god the power of god will come upon them they will rise up to have dominion they will rise up to have authority they're men and women of integrity they will they will be people that will keep their promise and keep their word and you will honor them hallelujah honor them at their workplaces honor them in their families honor their children let the children be strong and be raised up uh, to be strong spiritual leaders in the house as well thank you your covering of the blood over everything that belongs to them their house everything that they own their possession is under the blood the enemy cannot come because we are united as one and where we are one your blessing this is where you command your blessing so we thank you for the blessing that's over all of them oh god the campus pastors our pastor noel and pastor sunita pastor edward oh god thank you for blessing matthew ravi thank you for pastor edward thank you for sokwan thank you for marlin thank you for emmanuel thank you oh lord for yvonne and win and thank you oh god for elena thank you for anand Thank you for every single person that has represented us. Bless them indeed, hallelujah. Bless them, oh God. Empower them, we ask, hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray in us, oh God. All God's people shout amen. 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 Thank, Thank you. you very much, leaders. You may step down. Oh, we haven't oh. taken a picture. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's end service with one last song, <laughs> Felicia.
please stand with us. Join us. 